Decades before boycotts of the civil rights movement, Nashville made history because of a trolley car boycott by African Americans beginning in 1905. That's when the Tennessee legislature enacted Jim Crow laws to segregate trolleys after white passengers complained about the increasing number of black workers who were riding the trolleys. As a result, African American leaders urged the community to avoid public transit and, according to one black newspaper, trim their corns, darn their socks, wear solid shoes, and walk. Jitneys thrived on Jefferson Street and Cedar Street and around because they were trying to bypass having to use a trolley car. The boycott also motivated a group of black businessmen, including James Napier, to start an alternative mass transit line called the Union Transportation Company. Well, of course, these cars couldn't compete with National Electric. But the significant thing is they tried. It was important. It was a case of standing up for justice, for what was right, and it was an example of the human spirit that refused to be beaten down. Still, I rise. To learn more about African American history, tune in to NPT every Tuesday at 7 p.m. throughout November for The African Americans, Many Rivers to Cross. Major corporate support for the African Americans, Many Rivers to Cross is provided by Bank of America the Coca-Cola Company, and McDonald's. Support is also provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and PBS.